All right, people, what is up? My name is Cameron, and welcome back to another episode. So, we are out here in East Texas. The sun is going down in about 20 minutes. It's going to be completely dark outside. And tonight, we are doing something really cool. We are going frog hunting. But it's not frog hunting that is cool. It's how we're doing it. We're not using a gig. We're not going to be grabbing them, and we're not going to be shooting them with a 22. Instead, we're going to be using my blowgun and shooting them, hopefully. So, we had a little cold front roll through, and hopefully they're still out. I don't know, but we're going to find out. I got my mom behind the camera right now. Mom, say hi. Hi. <laughs> and then, let me show you all this rig. And I'll make another little video showing it. But all I did was I took my blowgun. This is one of the Tim Wells ones. I don't know exactly what it's called. I forgot. And then, I just took a fishing rod. I don't know if y'all can see this. And I duct taped it. To the blowgun and then you know i tied the line around the end of the dart so i'm excited let's get to it and stay tuned guys i'll pick the camera back up whenever we find some all right we just got out here we already found our first frog hopefully we'll be able to get this on camera i got the gun rigged up we have our little person holding the light over here so it's a huge one we're gonna see if we can get it first time ever shooting this at an animal so let's find out got him got him i just stuck him i really meant he's on First shot ever, and now we're reeling him in. Guys, there he is. I just got my first bullfrog. He's absolutely huge. Got him with the blowgun. He popped the end off. Run the dart out. And there we go. Look how big this guy is. Awesome shot. He ain't jumping, so he might be dead already. Those legs. Wow. Huge frogs. So it may be brutal, guys. Shine the camera up on me. Light. All right, it may be brutal, but to put them out of their misery, you just kind of smack them on something hard in the head because they're really hard to find their brain. So it's brutal, but it's better than letting them suffer with the hole in them. So we're going to go do that, then we'll get back to y'all for another one. That's awesome, though. All right, so that was crazy. First shot, it was not very close either. It was probably 10 yards, which I don't know how I hit that, but that was awesome. And I guess we're going to try to find another one, see what happens. Hopefully we can get, we don't need a lot, you know, we're not out here starving, but hopefully we can get two or three. That'd be pretty cool. And I just heard one growl over there. If you didn't hear that, they go Ugh, really deep. And yesterday I was here just doing a little bit of scouting and there were some big ones over there. So we're going to try to get one of those. Well, people, we are back at the house now, as you can tell. Check this out. One big old frog. Unfortunately, that is all we got tonight, but I'm still thankful for just that one. Uh, it got pretty cold on us. There was steam coming off the ponds, frost out in the fields or do or whatever it is but uh yeah so i think that's the reason we didn't see a lot more i think we saw two or three early on but i just couldn't get a shot off on them and then it just went dead calm and we didn't see anything else so anyways stay tuned guys and in the morning we're gonna be doing a little catch and cook on that for breakfast even though it's just one it'll still be fun and yeah so see you in the kitchen tomorrow morning well it is the next day people and i just got that frog all cleaned up and we're about to head inside and cook it up for breakfast so stay tuned and i'll see y'all in the kitchen all right guys so check it out we got our two frog legs right here pretty big meaty ones good frog legs only two though but still and then i got an egg that i beat up and then we got just some plain flour in the other bowl and i'm gonna take some slap your mama <laughs> and put quite a lot in there now this is actually pretty spicy stuff i don't want it to be overwhelming but I do want it to be very well seasoned. And then I got some vegetable oil heating up. It's nice and hot already. That should be good. All right, I got my vegetable oil nice and hot over here. And I know y'all can't see my face, but oh well. And I'm gonna take my frog legs, put them in the egg, get them in there nice and good. And we're gonna double batter these. So after they go in the egg, straighten the flour. We'll do both of them. Ooh, the oil is very hot. Then we just give it a good little mix in the flour. As you all can see. Then back in the egg wash again for a quick dip. And then back in the flour. Do both of them together. So egg wash flour then one more toss in the flour and then we're good to go into the pan as easy as that all right so you pick up your 
frog legs, shake off the excess, and straight in the grease it goes. And that is a little bit hot. So we're going to move that off for a second. I didn't have enough grease to fill up the pan, but I have enough to do one side and now flip it. Alright, so this one's been in there for a while. I think it's done. Nice and golden brown. Lay it on our paper towel and then we'll flip this one over. Wait for it to get nice golden brown. And then we're ready to eat, people. Alright, well, the frog leg is done. Both of them. The other one is already being eaten on by grandma over here. But there we go. Well, guys, I just got done crushing those frog legs. Came outside and it feels amazing. So I'm probably about to go fishing. Stay tuned. I'm going to try to make a video, so hopefully I'll be able to get one up for y'all. And if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, leave a comment down below, let us know what you'd like to see more of, and subscribe if you're not already. And if you are, thank you so much. And until next time, peace.